Today I want to walk you through the two home offices in our Needham project. We're working on this project with Teak Design Group as well as Cassie Gurnan Interiors. And there's a lot to unpack in these two rooms, so why don't we get into it. So there's two offices in this home, but one of the things I really like about this office is that it has its own entry to the outside. Should you have someone over that needs to come in for a meeting, they don't have to walk through the entire home to get into this office. So nice to have a separate entrance. It is currently protected for construction, but it is full glass, uh, which will let a lot more natural light in here. Speaking of natural light, you have these double height windows here, which is awesome because it gets you the view from the street. You also have that view of the beautiful sweet gum that's out front. But let's talk about the color in here. The color is a green. It is monochromatic. So monochromatic meaning that everything is painted one color with the exception of the ceiling. Before I keep talking about paint, up on that ceiling, we have four solid wood beams that were actually removed from the existing home. So this home was actually replacing an existing home that was on this lot. And the original home was in fact a historical building by nature, uh, but over the years, unfortunately, it was just kind of renovated and dilapidated to the point where we couldn't save much. But when we did de demolish the home, we actually tied the excavator bucket to a chain and pulled out some big beams to save in the future. And we actually used them here and in the other office. A really cool detail there, especially on these high ceilings. But going back to the paint, so everything is monochromatic. One of the things that we did here is that we actually fabricated the millwork in our shop, but left it unfinished and to be finished on site. We don't wanna be finishing this with a different product or even at a different time really than the rest of the room. Everything gets prepped, primed, and finished all in the same wave, so you net a monochromatic look. We have built-ins here. Uh, you can see that we have some protection. This is protecting the finished cabinet on the inside. That protection will come off, and this cabinet will actually get doors as well as drawers below. Anything that is left open is all painted, uh, and we have really tall shelves up top, probably be used for something like displays. Um, and then on the opposite side, we have a door here. This actually leads to the more common space, but we have additional built-ins on the back. This is set up for a furniture style desk. So the desk can tuck in. We have some really beautiful sconces that Cassie picked out that will sit here for the desk. And then when you flip around, this it makes the room kind of multifunctional. We'll have some space for seating, coffee table, and then sit in front of that wood burning fireplace. Again, you're kind of flipping your attention to the awesome sweet gum tree in the front yard. We have two fireplaces in this home. August West did the install. One is a gas fired fireplace and the other is a wood burning fireplace. They are the same model and they can be converted either way, which is nice because aesthetically when you stand in front of this one or the gas burning one, uh, they're gonna look the same, but they're gonna operate differently. One of the things that was really important to the homeowner was that it ventilated correctly. We wanted to make sure that this unit had its own makeup air system. So it pulls in its own fresh air and it helps exhaust the smoke up and out that chimney. Speaking of that chimney on the outside, we have that big, beautiful masonry chimney that goes all the way up to a copper cap and then copper chimney pots on the very top. A really cool detail that Teak incorporated in the exterior design. And then beyond that, we have obviously our Kukin Brothers moldings. What I really like about the Kukin Brother moldings are the deep cuts. So as light is coming in, it's actually kind of rainy out today and, and not as bright, but when sun is beaming through the window, you really get to see the deep cut in that profile. It's one of the things I like most about profiles that Cucan Brothers provides. They actually work with Brent Hull on these profiles to make sure that they were classic by nature. Another thing that we did in here is that all of the walls are actually insulated with a rock wool comfort vat. We did that for sound. We wanted to make sure that should there be a need for privacy, they can shut the door and have this room be quiet to make sure that they can get work done that they might need. As I make my way through here, we actually pass through a, a library. I'll come back to this in a minute, but this is the second home office right here. I wanna point out the fact that this is also monochromatic. So all of the trim, the walls, ceilings, everything is one color. You actually see another beam that we took from the existing home placed up there. Again, it's an aesthetic detail. It's kind of a nice nod to the existing home that was here uh, and just really kind of a, a, something cool to look at. What was designed is actually a window into the hallway. So when you're in this room, you know, it is designed to be an office. Uh, but as you're making your way down the hallway, you're, you lose a lot of the natural light that these windows would otherwise give. We actually had Geldwin produce interior windows for us and, and installed them into the interior wall. So as that natural light pours into these, this office, it's also being filtered into the hallway, which is really nice. From a viewpoint perspective, uh, the view into this office wasn't as important. Again, you'll have a furniture style desk. 
and then we had material millwork build this piece of millwork here. Opposite to what we did in the other office where that got field painted, this actually got painted in the shop. And the reason is, is that it's not designed to be monochromatic. It's not the same color as the walls. It's not the same finish. We were able to do it off site. That is our preference. But when we are trying to blend it into all of the built-ins or millwork or walls or ceilings and things like that, we opt to do that in the field. So this was shop finished. Now this is a really nice unit. I want to talk about the doors. This profile was something that uh, Steve Teak and the homeowners worked on in terms of what made sense for this office. We didn't want something that was really simple. We didn't want to match the, the other cabinetry in here, which is more of a or flat panel with a square door. So we have this cathedral look. And the way that material actually did this is they actually took two pieces of MDF and they laminated it together. But before laminating the top section, they actually ran this whole profile on the CNC, even that bead detail on the edge. And then they laminated that together, sanded everything, edge banded everything, and then finished it. It's a really cost-effective way to add detail to a door like that, especially when it's paint grade. I also wanna call attention to down here. So one of the things that material will do prior to doing any install or any fabrication is actually survey the site. So things like HVAC, electrical, plumbing, they're gonna make sure that they have that stuff noted on their shop drawings. And in fact, here we have an HVAC register underneath this unit. And then what they'll do is they'll actually create a boot that goes right up to the backside of that baseboard. And this baseboard is removable should we ever need to access that, but it's not easily removable. It's designed to look as though it's permanent, but if we ever needed to, their team would be able to come out and actually pop that off. So you'll see that a lot when we, when we can, we try to bury those HVAC boots underneath millwork, just a much better looking detail. We obviously have hardware to install, but I also want to call attention to the fact that you can see that some of these are built for shelves. We have an outlet right here, which lends me to believe that we'll probably have a printer in there and we don't have them installed yet, but usually the printer will get a pull out shelf. So that printer can sit underneath uh, and be tucked away out of sight. Some of the things that you might notice with the floor protection removed here is that stain. We actually pre-stained underneath any millwork. Uh, so we still need to come back and sand all of these floors. Again, these are character grade white oak that get a nice medium brown stain. You'll see that on some other videos on the second floor, but we'll do similar here. Coming back to the library, so this is really the entrance to what we'll call the office wing. So when you walk in here, you're actually surrounded by all built-in shelving, and this is noted as the library. So this really frames the sweet gum in the front yard, natural light pulling you into this space, and then Materia actually opted to fabricate all of this in the shop. This is an MDF with a poplar face, and then the reason we end up going with poplar here is because all of the trim from Cucum Brothers is also a poplar material. Rather than having dissimilar materials, we figured, hey, let's just make everything the same. So it primes the same and it finishes the same and we don't have run that risk of it being different. But the painters will actually come in here and prep this. You probably guessed it, it will be monochromatic, which is why everything here is unfinished. Also, you know, the windows here, being that they came prime, these need to be painted as well. So everything will be blended together, painted one color. This will be a really beautiful space to walk into what I'm calling the office wing of this home. There's really a lot of detail to get to this point and you know, it would be impossible to walk you through all of the detail uh, that has brought us to this point. So hopefully you'll check out some of the previous videos. And if you guys have questions, leave them below. I'm happy to answer them. Uh, you guys have been great in, in asking great questions, uh, which leads us to making more video. As always, make sure you guys subscribe. We'll see you guys next week.